Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. Now that Canelo is officially no longer with the zone, the golden boy. Um, once again, keep in mind who told you this a long time ago that this deal wasn't going to last. Just remember, I told you that this deal wasn't going to last and that the zone just didn't have the money to pay Canelo. They wasn't going to eventually have the money to pay Canelo. And then basically they just didn't accumulate enough subscribers to keep paying Canelo that money. You know, I don't like to use that word overpaid, but basically they overextended the money they wanted to pay Canelo and they didn't overall have what you would call a overall plan. And I think they overestimated how many actual fans Canelo got based off his popularity and how much money he could bring to the zone with subscribers. Basically, let's just face the fact, people do not want to watch a high caliber fight on the phone. Now, you can program the zone on your TV, but you got to do a little bit of work. But at the end of the day, people like the traditional, you know, just hitting the, you know, buy on your local satellite company or AT&T cable or whatever. But this just seemed like this was a disaster in the making. And when I said that this wasn't going to work long term, everybody said I was hating. And if Canelo was black and all, stop it. I just knew it wasn't going to work. Now, with that being said, let me get to the real subject at hand. Now, it appears that Ryan Garcia will soon be leaving as well. Um, Ryan Garcia is more than likely going to leave Golden Boy and the zone as well now keep in mind i broke the story that ryan garcia is supposed to be the mandatory you know for the Devin haney um gamboa winner that's what bill told me out of his own mouth so um basically if that happens you know, basically, if that happens, that will be one of Ryan Garcia's, you know, next to last fights with Golden Boy and DAZN. DAZN just don't have the bread. And now all the people that turned down DAZN, they were justified. Now, did the pandemic play a key role in what possibly happened with the crash of DAZN? Yeah, probably so. But was it going to work overall regardless Probably not. So you got to think. And if I'm Ryan Garcia, due to the fact we already had a dilemma where we couldn't get certain fights made anyway, where you had a certain, you know, um, I ain't going to say promotional company. Well, um, TV pro program, TV show, whatever you want to call it. And, and to a certain extent, they did not want to work with the zone. It all depends on who the fighter was. Let's just keep it 100. You know, you know, your high caliber fighters versus low caliber. You're not sending your high caliber fights over to the zone for various different reasons. So once again, you had yourself in a dilemma to where if you were a certain boxer, you wasn't going to get a certain fight. And that's what's going on. And that was that's pretty much what was happening with Ryan Garcia. More than likely, Floyd was never going to send Tank over there to fight Ryan Garcia. Now, if he leaves and comes to the PBC, that fight will happen. Now, the zone, in, the zone as far as Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia, that can get made now. So now you have to ask yourself, well, what does the future hold for Devin Haney now? So, we'll see what's up. This your boy, Town Biz. I'm out.